All right, investors and traders, welcome back to another video. Jay Athens back in the building. All right, so in today's video, as you see on your screen, we're looking at volatility. I've done a video on this before, but after doing some research, I want to show you guys something in the markets where I guess we can say that um, where we can see how traders don't really make money in the markets from a day trading perspective. So on your screen, you're looking at the volatility index and you notice there's a red line down the middle. Well, that's the 2021 average for the annual average for the VIX where we stand right now. So I wanted to show you guys something interesting and hopefully this video will open your eyes into you know, how the markets really work and I'm not here to bash anyone, but if anyone feels like they're being bashed, then you might need to check yourself in the mirror. But at the same time, I was looking at some data. Let's go over here. I'm going to go to my spreadsheet, right? So I'm looking at some volatility data. And, you know, members who have access to the spreadsheets, what we do have on here is a tracking uh, I guess I don't want to say device, but a tracking system that tracks volatility every single day. And it does our calculation. So we get to know where we see spikes of volatility in the past. And, you know, going forward, we can possibly see opportunities in the future. But the whole purpose of this video today was, if you notice, we're looking at different months of volatility right here. We're in July. This is August. And I want to show you guys something, how day trading opportunities are not always present. More, we'll say, you know what, I'm not even going to put a percentage on it, but day trading opportunities, guys, are not always present. Now, I know a lot of people in the markets, they call themselves day traders. They have a a risk to, you know, a risk to reward set up. They have the proper management. They use, you know, a certain amount of pips for their stop loss. And with all that headache going on, not to say it doesn't work. If a person finds something that works, it works for them. But that setup that you're setting up for opportunities in the market is not always there. So look at my spreadsheet, guys. And let's start with... um. Let's start with June. We're going to match some of these numbers up with the date on the chart so you guys can actually see how day trading opportunities is not always there. So how do people consider themselves day traders and say that they make money every single day? So let's look at it. We're looking at June numbers for the VIX in, uh, of this year. Now, if you notice right here, it's the volatility daily range. So Based on the numbers that we collect, we kind of see where those spikes of volatility was in the market. Now, the average that we've we've came up with just by looking at the past was around three. So anything under three tells us, you know, minimum volatility. Anything above three kind of tells us we see spikes in the market of volatility. Now, let's start with June. If we start with June 1st, all the way to the end of the month on the 30th, we only had two days where we saw a, a spike of volatility around 4% on those two days. So that was actually June 21st, and then we had June 18th. So if our base range number is three, guys, how did we make money on these other days? Yeah, we're close to three on some opportunities, so we may be able to squeeze opportunities out. But for numbers pretty much under two and a half going towards two and one, we see those opportunities are not there, guys. So let's look at another one before we look at a chart. So let's go to July. Once again, guys, out of the whole month of July, it shows that we had three days of day trading opportunities. So my question to traders in the community is, how do you call yourself a day trader when day trading opportunities don't present themselves all the time in the market? So we had a 355 on here, a 582 on July 19th. And let's go to August. In August, three days again. So what about the rest of the month? People are trying to figure out new strategies because they can't figure out why is it not working? What's, is this going to work? Is that going to work? 
three days, guys. Those other days, we're in low volatility, guys. Three days out of the whole month. Now we're in September. September, we're starting to see a little bit more days. So we're almost at the end of the month. We're on the 21st. But even throughout the whole month, we only got four days. So let's go back and align this up on a chart so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. So let's start with June. So June on the VIX chart, let's look at the date, the 21st and the 18th. Let's go back over here. June 21st and the 18th. So you see where my mouse is. Here's the 18th. So we see that spike of volatility on the 18th, the spike of volatility on the 21st. But guess what, guys? If you've taken my macro training, you know that we're still in a certain environment, which I'm not going to say now. But anyone looking at this chart that has it knows that, well, this was a trap to get traders to inject liquidity in the market because, look, volatility went straight back down. So we saw out of June, you possibly had two days of day trading opportunities because, look, the rest of those days, volatility was down. Let's go back over here again. Let's look at July. So the highest in July was July 19th. Let's go to July 19th. Let's see, July 19th. Look at that, a large spike, a large spike right there. So we see the highest on a daily is around five, maybe 6%. The average is around three, anything under three, there's low volatility. So look again, guys, we broke above that average. What is that doing? That's enticing traders to pump liquidity, to put money into the markets. And then guess what? Volatility right back down. So guys, I'm showing you that how important volatility is because throughout the month, there's only a few days where we're getting spikes of volatility. And we know that If you don't understand both sides of the game when it comes to volatility, well, guess what? You are going to you are going to lose money because you're going to do the same thing you've always done when there is no volatility, when that strategy needs volatility to make money. So I'm showing you guys right here. I just wanted to drop a quick video to show you that the spikes of volatility or those day trading opportunities rarely happen in the markets or throughout the month. So if we're looking at September, our highest in September was the 20th of September. Let's look at that. And then we'll wrap this one up. So look at that, a spike of volatility. It pushed past a certain, the average of the the annual average. And guess what? It came right back down. So my private members know how to attack this opportunity because we know volatility spikes. We have one to three to maybe four days throughout the month where there's day trading opportunities. So once again, my question to traders, how are you a day trader making money every single day in the markets when you need volatility to make money? If there is no volatility, there's a whole nother approach to the market to actually put money in your pockets. But that's another story. But the main thing is, day trading opportunities is not always theirs, guys. So you have to figure out a way when there is no volatility, how to hedge yourself against the markets. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to drop this quick little video to talk about volatility and its importance. Anyone that is interested in learning, we do have a macro course coming up on October 11, 2021. And I definitely do teach this concept, this concept in detail within the course. So come on over, guys and get this knowledge of volatility because it will definitely help you. All right, guys, until next time, later.